Welcome back to my Houston Texans franchise rebuild here on Madden 22. Today we are kicking off season four. Last year we made it all the way to the Super Bowl before losing to the Green Bay Packers. So we're looking to obviously make it back there this year and this time try to get a win. First things first, we have to set a goal and we are going to set the goal of make the playoffs and we're gonna go from there. It's opening day this week and a fresh start for every team around the league and you'll be facing the Colts. What's the key to victory? Dominating offense. Ideally, we establish a rhythm on offense, dictate the flow of the game, and get big enough lead to make their offense one-dimensional. That, that would be the goal here. Obviously, every offense wants to be balanced. What's your main focus? The passing game. We have a pretty solid receiving core. It's a passing league. Whether you're leading or trailing, passing is the best option for yards and points, so being able to air it out is how we envision having the most success. We pretty much, we didn't rebuild our entire receiving core, but we added Michael Gallup. We lost Richard Higgins because age kind of, hurt his ratings a bit so i added michael gallup so we have a really solid receiving core now and now let's take a look at the colts depth chart because it is not pretty they let carson Wentz walk finally but they did not sign a quarterback to replace him so a 66 overall caleb siri will get the start at running back they still have a 98 overall jonathan taylor i think he actually dropped a point i think he was 99 at wide receiver they have michael pittman and henry ruggs and kirk cooper at tight end, they have Brevin Jordan. He actually ditched us and went to a division rival. Okay. And Colby Parkinson. At left tackle, they have a 77 overall. At left guard, a 99 overall Quentin Nelson. At center, a 75 overall. At right guard, a 68 overall David Harris. And at right tackle, an 88 overall. On defense, they have a 75 overall defensive end. On the other end, they have a 77 overall Quiddy Pay. At defensive tackle, they have a 94 overall DeForest Buckner and a rookie 77 overall William Red. At outside linebacker, they have a 67 overall. At middle linebacker, an 81 overall Bobby Okariki. At right outside linebacker, a 76 overall Brent Boston. At corner, they have 83 overall Adoree Jackson, 82 overall Kenny Moore, and a 77 Dean Tompkins. At free safety, they have an 84 overall Julian Blackman. And at strong safety, a 76 overall Kari Willis. And after the weekly training, we actually have an upgrade here for quarterback Joe Spitzer. So we'll just upgrade his strong arm, get him to an 87 overall. After the end of last season, he became a superstar depth trait, and he gets plus two awareness, plus one to break sack, plus one to play action, and plus one to throw accuracy mid. We have a couple injuries going into week one. First is Laramie Tunsil, who got hurt in the preseason, and he will miss probably at least the next two games. And then left guard Brian Horan apparently just got injured in training. All right, let's see how our defense handles a 66 overall quarterback. They come out in shotgun to start the season. He will take the snap. He's under pressure, hit as he throws, but he finds Jonathan Taylor underneath, and Taylor will still gain about six yards. Okay, they apparently signed a quarterback out of free agency right before this game because Caleb Siri was the starter, but that is Jared Goff in at quarterback as he hands off to Jonathan Taylor to the outside, and he gets the first down. Yeah, that was not their starting quarterback. So their new starting quarterback is 72 overall Jared Goff. A three yard rush would set up second and seven for Goff in the offense and they go back to Taylor and he is hit in the backfield. That was Jordan Brooks making the tackle leading to third and nine. Now Goff out of shotgun will take the snap and he goes to the outside, finds Taylor and Taylor will get brought down on the play by Josh Favors and the Colts should punt it away. Okay, the Texans come out now for first and 10 from the 22 yard line, eight and a half minutes to go in the first quarter for their first drive of the season. Hand off to Miles Sanders up the middle and Sanders will get a gain of about seven. That sets up second and three. Spitzer going back under center. Sanders in the backfield, takes the snap over the middle and misses his man. I think he was intending that for Lamar Boswell. That leads to third and three, trying to avoid a three and out. Spencer, please don't have the first drive of the season be a three and out after we went to the Super Bowl last year. And it's a screen pass to the outside caught by Sanders, and I think they'll give him the first down to the 32. They would not give him the first down, actually. So Indianapolis comes out at the 24-yard line after the punt, handoff to Taylor up the middle, and he's got a gain of about three. Second and six, Goff going under center from the 27. He drops back and goes downfield. That will be caught for the first down. I believe that's going to be Michael Pittman for the first. A zero yard rush would set up second and 10. Now Goff out of shotgun. He's under pressure and Goff will be sacked on the play by Ross Blacklock back at the 32. That's, that's a third and 20. Goff in shotgun. Let's see what he can do here. He takes the snap under pressure again and just dumps us to the outside and out of bounds. So once again, Houston should get the ball. Spitzer and the offense come out at the two yard line to start this next drive. Let's see how they handle this. Hand off to Sanders up the middle and Sanders will get to about the five. Second and seven, Spitzer under center from the five yard line. Five and a half minutes to go in the quarter. Hand off to Sanders again up the middle and he may have gotten a yard there. 
Now third and six for the offense. Spencer takes the snap out of shotgun. He steps up in the pocket, goes downfield, and gets picked off inside the 20, 10, 5 touchdown Indianapolis. Well, this is not the start I envisioned for this team. Houston comes back out first and 10 from the 25. Spencer, now you need to dig us out of this hole that you created. And on the first play, he's going deep down the field, and that will be caught on the play by Brian Tyson down to the 25. Our superstar receiver comes up with his first catch on the year. Now first and 10 from the Colts 25-yard line. Spencer takes the snap, stands in the pocket, goes to the outside, caught by Sanders, and brought down after a five-yard gain. Second and five, Spencer going under center. Sanders in the backfield. And that's where I'll go with it, to the outside. Sanders has the first down, breaks the tackle, still going and brought down inside the five, down to the three. First and goal from the three-yard line. Now Ramondre Stevenson in the backfield for Houston. He is our new power back, and that's where they toss it to the outside, and he will lose about six yards. Brand new power back, and they try to run a toss play. That, that's smart. Now second and goal from the nine. Three minutes to go in the quarter, and they give it back to Sanders up the middle, and Sanders will fight all the way back to the four-yard line. This sets up third and goal. Spitzer in shotgun. He will take the snap. It's a blitz over the middle, and caught by Brian Tyson in the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. We should tie this game up. Let's see how Goff and the offense do through simulation. On first and 10, he throws it away. On second and 10, he is sacked by Demarcus Lawrence for a loss of five, leading to third and 15, where he gets a negative two yard rush from Jonathan Taylor. So they punt it back to Houston. First and 10 from our own 45. With about a minute 23 to go here in the quarter, Spitzer takes the snap, stands in the pocket, and he finally goes downfield and that will be incomplete. Second and 10 now out of shotgun. Spitzer will take the snap. And he's gonna be under pressure. He throws it the last second deep downfield and throws it out of bounds. He is not having the start I would have imagined for him. Now third and 10. Spitzer in shotgun from the 45 to avoid another three and out here. And he goes downfield that is caught by Boswell but out of bounds at about the 49. We would then punt it away and Indianapolis starts at their own seven yard line here with under a minute to go in the first quarter. Goff under center will take the snap. Hand off to his running back up the middle, and Jonathan Taylor breaking tackles and gets about a nine-yard gain. That leads to second and one. Goff and shotgun from the 16 now. He takes the snap and goes right back to Taylor up the middle, and this time he gets the first down to about the 20. Second and five. Goff back in shotgun will take the snap. Drops back, goes over the middle. That is going to be caught by Taylor for the first down and finally brought down at the 31-yard line. A five-yard run from Taylor would set up second and five for the Colts from the 36-yard line. And he takes the snap, hands off to Taylor up the middle, and Taylor has the first down, but there is a flag. Let's see what this is. Please be holding him. Please bring it back. Holding offense. And it will be brought back. That sets up third and 13. Goff in shotgun. Taylor in the backfield. It will be a pass play. It's a screen to Taylor on the outside. Taylor makes one man miss and will meet Jordan Brooks and get brought down at the 32. Second and 11. Spitzer going under center. Sanders in the backfield. He sends a man in motion. I believe that is DJ Shark. He takes the snap. And it's a quick pass to the outside. Caught by Robert Tunyon. Tunyon cuts up field. And Tunyon has the first down to the 23. First and 10. Spitzer in shotgun from the 23. Under eight minutes to go now in the half. He takes the snap. Stands in the pocket. And goes downfield. That will be caught along the sideline. And out of bounds is Lamar Boswell. A quick run from Sanders results in a loss of one. So it is second and 11. And Spitzer's out of shotgun. Looking to pass here. Stands in the pocket. There will be pressure. He goes over the middle, and that is caught by Brian Tyson running wide open, breaks a tackle, and then brought down to the 32 into Indianapolis territory. A nine-yard reception from Brian Tyson sets up second and one, and now Spitzer out of shotgun again over the middle. That is caught for the first down by Floyd Bryan. First and 10 from the 16. Spitzer under center. Will take the snap. Step back in the pocket. He's under pressure, rolling out, and needs to get rid of it, and will get sacked all the way back at the 30-yard line. Second and 23, Spitzer in shotgun. From the 29 yard line, takes the snap, stands in the pocket, goes to the outside, caught by Sanders up the sideline and Sanders at least makes it a little more manageable. Third and 10 from the 17 yard line. Spitzer in shotgun, Sanders in the backfield with him. He takes the snap, stands in the pocket. He has a little bit of time, goes to the outside. That is caught by Floyd Bryan and brought down to the 13. So that brings out the field goal unit and Harrison Butker for about a 30 yard try. Here is our new kicker. His first official kick as a Texan is good to give us a 10 to seven lead. All right, let's see how the Colts do here. First and 10, nine yard gain from Taylor. Second and one, six yard from Kirk Cooper. Now first and 10, a four yard sack by Davon Hamilton. 
Leads to second and 14, and he hits Kirk Cooper for three yards. So that would lead to a third and 11, where he hits Kirk Cooper for 16, so their drive stays alive. Then they get a three yard rush from Taylor on first and 10, second and seven, a one yard rush from Taylor. And then on third and six, he hits Brevin Jordan for 13. We come out after the two minute warning. It is first and 10 from the 27 yard line, a minute 55 to go here in the half. He goes over the middle. That's caught by his running back and brought down by Malik Morgan. Third and four, Goff in shotgun. will take the snap. He stands in the pocket and goes to the outside. That will be caught by, I believe that's Jonathan Taylor, and he gets out of bounds at the six. A first down for Indy. First and goal from the six yard line. Goff under center, Taylor in the backfield. Goff will take the snap and look to throw. He is under pressure and he will be sacked by Demarcus Lawrence back at the 15. An incomplete pass would then set up third and goal for the Colts from the 15 yard line. Under a minute to go in the half. They have two timeouts. Goff rolling out and he will be sacked again by Demarcus Lawrence, this time back at the 29. So we will hold the Colts to a field goal try. This will be about a 46 yard attempt here. And the kick is away and it is good. So we are tied at 10. First and 10 from the 20 yard line, 43 seconds to go in the half. Let's see what our offense is gonna do. Spencer takes the snap out of shotgun. He stands in the pocket. He's going deep down the left sideline. Hopefully a jump ball to Brian Tyson and he makes the catch, but he is out of bounds. Second and 10, Spencer comes back out in shotgun. 35 seconds to go now. Is he just going to air it deep again? A will throw it underneath. This one will be caught by, I believe, Miles Sanders and forced out of bounds. First and 10 now from the 31. Spencer out of shotgun will take the snap. Stand in the pocket, has some okay protection. Now finally running out. He's going deep downfield, one-on-one -on -one coverage and caught by Tyson, but knocked out of his hands. Second and 10, 21 seconds to go. Spencer takes the snap quickly over the middle. That is caught by DJ Chark, and he's off to the races, but brought down in Indy territory at the 38. But thanks to Madden's logic, they would let the clock run down to five seconds, even though they had another timeout and could have probably got one more playoff. But we will send Harrison Bucker out for a long field goal try, and the kick is good. So we take the 13 to 10 lead into halftime. Let's see how our offense does through simulation. We start with an eight yard sack. That would lead to second and 18, and he throws it away. So on third and 18, he hits Brian Tyson for 14, but not enough, so we would punt it away. Indy takes over at the 20 yard line. Let's see what they can do. First and 10, he hits Brevin Jordan for 17. New set of downs, a seven yard rush from Taylor. So second and three, a two yard rush from Taylor, setting up third and two where he would get the first down. First and 10, five from Taylor. Second and five, one from Goff. Now third and five, he throws it away. So on fourth and five, they go for it and get the first down. First and 10 from the 34, we'll jump into this drive. Goff in a five wide set, will take the snap. Down by three, he goes to the outside, caught by Taylor, and he is gonna be brought down after about an eight yard gain. Leads to second and three. Goff in shotgun, Taylor in the backfield. They will be looking to throw. Goff throws off his back foot to the end zone, and this one will be thrown out of the back. That would lead to a third and three for Goff in the offense. From the 26 yard line, he takes the snap. Stands in the pocket. And he's got a lot of time to throw, finally running out, goes to the end zone and throws it out of the back of the end zone. But on fourth and three, the Colts will go for it here from the 26 yard line, down by three. He goes over the middle and a first down for Indianapolis down inside the 20. First and 10 now from the 19. He will send a man in motion. Goff from under center with Taylor in the backfield. He sends him back in motion again. Goff finally takes the snap and he is under pressure immediately. It will be sacked by Bruno Ford back at the 31. Second and 22, Goff and shotgun from the 31 yard line. He will take the snap, drop back to pass, and he goes to the outside. That will be caught by Michael Pittman and Pittman down the sideline will make it about a third and 10 situation again. So on the next play, Goff all alone in the backfield here to try to keep this drive alive. He will take the snap, stand in the pocket, and he's under pressure again, and Demarcus Lawrence will sack him and force a fumble. That will be picked up by Shaquille Griffin, and he is brought down immediately. But the Texans will take over at the 29-yard line. Let's see if Spitzer can take advantage of the turnover. First and 10 from the 29, four minutes to go here in the quarter. Hand off to Sanders up the middle, and Miles Sanders will start this drive with about a nine-yard gain. Second and one, Spitzer going back under center from the 37. Takes the snap, gives it back to Sanders, and Miles Sanders with the first down and a bit more will finally be brought down at the 47-yard line. First and 10, Spitzer in shotgun, Sanders in the backfield. Three minutes to go here in the quarter. Spitzer takes the snap, stands in the pocket, and Spitzer airs it out deep down the right side, caught by DJ Chark and brought down inside the 10-yard line. First and goal from the seven. Sanders in the backfield with Joe Spitzer. He sends Tunyon in motion. 
Spencer will take the snap. They'll give it to Sanders. Sanders up the middle will break away from one man and get brought down inside the five down at the one. Second and goal. Spencer under center. Sanders in the backfield. That's right where they go with it up the middle again, and he does not get in. Now third and goal from the one. Spencer still in the backfield with Miles Sanders. Hand off up the middle, and Sanders into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. We will take a two-score lead. All right, Indianapolis will come out down by 10, under two minutes to go in the third quarter. And he starts with the thrown away pass on first and 10. Second and 10, though, he hits Henry Ruggs for 21. And then on first and 10, he hits Colby Parkinson for 12. First and 10 again, knocked away by Josh Favors. Second and 10, six yards to Jonathan Taylor. And on third and four, another six yard rush from Jonathan Taylor. We start the fourth quarter and the Colts are at the 30 yard line of the Texans, down by 10. They will come out handed to Taylor up the middle who breaks a tackle and will get about a five yard gain. This is a big drive for the Colts. Their offense has not scored a touchdown yet. Their only touchdown came from a pick six. Now second and five, Goff takes the snap and he goes over the middle. That will be caught for the first down. Inside the 10 is Michael Pittman and finally brought down at the eight. He will take the snap, stand in the pocket, look to pass. He's finally run out of time, goes downfield. That is caught and brought down immediately as Brevin Jordan at the five. Second and goal. Goff under center from the five yard line. He takes a snap, hands off to Taylor up the middle and Taylor will get brought down by Jordan Brooks immediately. Third and goal. Goff all alone in the backfield with a five wide set. Will take the snap. And he quickly goes over the middle, caught by I believe Brevin Jordan in the end zone. Touchdown Indianapolis. All right, let's see if we can do anything on offense through simulation. First and 10, negative two from Sanders. Second and 12, drop by DJ Chark. So on third and 12, an eight yard gain to Brian Tyson, but not enough, so we will punt it away. So Indy comes out down by three from the 26 yard line, under eight minutes to go in the game. Start with a seven yard rush from Taylor. Second and three, a 66 yard touchdown from Jonathan Taylor to give Indianapolis the lead. The Texans offense comes out down by four from the 25 yard line under seven minutes to go in the game. Let's see if we can take the lead back. Spitzer in shotgun will send Sanders out in motion. He takes the snap, stands in the pocket, goes to the outside. That is caught and down after about a five yard gain is Lamar Boswell. Second and five, Spitzer in shotgun again. All alone in the backfield will take the snap. It's a quick throw that's caught by Boswell. He's got the first down to the 37. A three yard rush from Sanders would set up second and seven here with under six minutes to go in the game now. Spitzer in shotgun takes the snap, gives it back to Sanders and Sanders trying to find a lane but cannot find one. Now third and six, Spitzer in shotgun. Sanders in the backfield, he will take the snap. Stand in the pocket, go to the outside, caught by Sanders but he will not get the first down. But on fourth and two, we will go for it. 5.16 to go in the game. Spitzer in shotgun, takes the snap. Hands off to Miles Sanders, who has the first down, but there is a flag. Please don't be on us. And we will have to retry the down. We have decided it is safer to punt in this scenario than go for it here. So on fourth and 11, we punt it away, and Indianapolis will take over. They feel this inside the 20. They will take over near the 25. All right, we need to get the ball back. It is first and 10. Goff under center from the 26. About five minutes to go in the game. Takes the snap, hands off to Jonathan Taylor, and Taylor will meet Ramon Kyle, but he will still get a few yards, but there is another flag. This time it's holding on Indianapolis. We now jump to second and 20 for the Colts after an incomplete pass. From the 17 yard line, Goff takes a snap, hands off to Taylor. Taylor to the outside will meet Ramon Kyle and get brought down at the 19. Third and 18 for the Colts. Goff in shotgun. He's looking to pass. He stands in the pocket, goes over the middle, caught by Taylor, and he is upended by Ramon Kyle at the 26. Spitzer and the offense come out at the 29 yard line under four minutes to go, down by four. He will send a man in motion. I believe that is actually Donald Parham in the game, our third string tight end. And he will hand off to Sanders and lose three. Not a great start to the drive. Now second and 13, Spitzer under center. With Sanders still in the backfield, he will take the snap, look to pass, and goes down the right side. He's got a man that is caught and knocked out of the hands of DJ Shark. Third and 13 now for the Texans. From the 26, Spitzer takes the snap, stands in the pocket, under pressure, and he will be sacked back at the 14. So now first and 10, Goff under center from the 41, three minutes to go. We still have all three timeouts, still plenty of time to get the ball back. And on the first play, he hands it to Jonathan Taylor, who will get nothing. Second and 11, Goff now in a five wide set. Two and a half minutes to go in the game. Goff will finally take the snap, stand in the pocket, go to the outside that is caught by an open man, and he will be close to the marker down at the 50. 
We have hit the two-minute warning and third and one for the Colts. From the 50, Houston needs to stop up the middle and he will go nowhere. Davon Hamilton hitting Jonathan Taylor in the backfield. Spencer comes out with a minute 51 to go in the game from the 10-yard line. Let's see if you can be a franchise quarterback. To the outside, called by Floyd Bryan, and that's a gain of one. We come back out second and nine. He's under center. He takes the snap, stands in the pocket, and he goes over the middle. That's caught by Sanders. That's at least a first down, down to about the 25. A minute 15 to go in the game. Spitzer takes the snap over the middle, caught by Bryan, and this time Bryan will have a gain of about seven. Now a minute to go. We still have two timeouts. Spencer takes the snap, stands in the pocket over the middle again. This one's caught by Michael Gallup for his first official reception as a Texan, I believe. That would lead to a new set of downs and 40 seconds to go in the game. Spencer takes the snap, stands in the pocket. Don't get sacked. He goes down the right sideline, and that will be incomplete drop by chart. That leads to second and 10 with 35 seconds to go. Spencer in shotgun. We need to come up with something here on offense. And he goes over the middle. That's caught by Gallup again, this time to the 40. We would burn a timeout to set up third and six. From the 40-yard line, we have 30 seconds left. Spencer takes the snap, stands in the pocket, and he's going deep down the sideline. No, it's the middle of the field. That is caught by Boswell into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. But there is a flag. What is this going to be? This could be huge. Pass interference on the defense. We should be good. Decline the penalty, and we will take the touchdown. Jared Goff and the Colts offense come out from the 25-yard line. 18 seconds to go in all three timeouts. And on the first play, he dumps it off over the middle, caught on the run, and brought down to 34. Second and one now. Goff and shotgun. 12 seconds to go. They still have two timeouts. Goff takes the snap. And it's a blitz coming, and the Texans will sack him back at the 25. Third and nine. Seven seconds left to go in the game. Goff takes the snap. He drops back. He's going to have to go deep here. They do not have time for any other play as Goff just throws a Hail Mary deep downfield, and that will be tipped around and incomplete. Houston will get out of here with a win, 27-24. to This was not exactly how I imagined our first game to go, especially against the team. Well, one, that wasn't even the quarterback I expected to play. I expected to play 66 overall Caleb Seary, and they brought in 72 overall Jared Goff. Probably not much of a difference, but still not really who I was expecting to play. We got off to kind of a slow start on offense, but we made up for it late game with Spitzer just hitting, I think that was uh, our tight end, uh, Lamar Boswell. I could not think of his name there for a second, but that was a great play near the end of the game there. Just kind of heaved it up and hoped for the best. He was apparently getting hung on by the defense, still made the catch, still got into the end zone, and we go on to 1-0. Final stats on the day, Joe Spitzer finishes with a QBR of 112.9, goes 26 of 36 for 378 yards, two touchdowns, did throw the one pretty dumb interception at the beginning of the game, but we still won, so whatever. And then Miles Sanders, 16 for 55 and one score. Receiving-wise, Miles Sanders, six catches for 49 yards, Brian Tyson, six for 111 and a touchdown, Lamar Boswell, five for 98 and a score, and then making his debut, Michael Gallup got two for nine. DJ Chark two for 77, but also had two drops. Leading the team in tackles was Jordan Brooks. Tackle for loss was Demarcus Lawrence with four. And Demarcus Lawrence led the team today with four sacks. Puna Ford got one. Pat Bragantz got one. I think that was the corner blitz at the end of the game there. Ross Blacklock got one. And then Kendall Bibbs and Davon Hamilton apparently shared one. For the Colts, Jared Goff goes 26 of 36 for 230 yards and one touchdown. And apparently one of those fourth down conversions was a pass from their punter. Rushing-wise, Jonathan Taylor goes 25 of 145 and a touchdown. And receiving-wise, Taylor led the team in receptions, 9 for 54. And Brevin Jordan against us, his former team, goes 5 for 48 and a touchdown. And even though we didn't complete whatever our goal was from the media event, we still get the win, so we still earn 1,000 XP for everyone on our team. Also, like, half my practice squad just got sniped. I advanced to week two, and literally everybody just got sniped off the practice squad. I figured a couple of these guys would go, like Dominic Poindexter, but yeah, that, that kind of sucks. We have an upgrade for our new center, our backup center, who actually plays that right guard, but he gets an upgrade point. We will just upgrade his power, get him as you know high overall as possible, and he gets plus two to awareness and plus two to run block power. Cameron Glass also gets an upgrade. We will just upgrade his elusive back trait. He didn't get really any playing time this last week, but he gets plus two to awareness, plus one to carry, and plus one to spin move. And then our number one defensive back, Shelton Peterson, gets an upgrade. Just keep upgrading his man to man, get him as good as that as possible. And he gets plus one to awareness, plus two to man, and plus one to zone. Looking at the weekly player of the awards, Demarcus Lawrence wins AFC Defensive Player of the Week with his four sacks. But I'm kind of more laughing at the fact that we just played Indianapolis, who had to start Jared Goff at quarterback. 
because they let Carson Wentz go and Wentz just went 29 of 36 for 400 yards and four touchdowns for the Saints. And somehow we just lost to the LA Rams who were starting Kyle Allen at quarterback. We lost 34 to 21 for our first loss on the year. Looking at these stats, Joe Spitzer goes 22 of 37 for 342 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Rushing wise, Miles Sanders went 10 carries for 24 yards and a touchdown. Receiving wise, Brian Tyson, five for 103 and a score. Chark finally showed up today, six for 89. And then Lamar Boswell caught another touchdown. Defensively, Pat Bergantz and Jordan Brooks led the team in tackles for this one. Tackles for loss was Davon Hamilton and Demarcus Lawrence. We only sacked him one time and Puna Ford got that and we got no interceptions. And Kyle Allen, who is a less than 70 overall quarterback, just went 17 of 29 for 241 yards and three touchdowns on our defense. Rushing wise, Cam Akers, 26 carries for 104 yards and a touchdown. And Robert Woods, six catches for 99 yards and three touchdowns. We do have a couple more upgrades here and we're gonna upgrade Gabe Waddle, our sixth round pick here. We'll upgrade his deep threat. See what he gets for that. And he gets plus one to catching and plus three to deep route. Randy Cloud also gets an upgrade. Our backup quarterback will upgrade his strong arm, get him to be a little bit of a better passer here. Plus one to awareness, plus one to throw accuracy deep, and plus two to throw under pressure. But that's where this video will end. I will go ahead and watch the next game against the Baltimore Ravens with a 99 overall Lamar Jackson because I'm kind of curious as to how my defense is going to handle that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys next time.